Vive la Revolution! Property revolution, to be exact. Yes, Jeremy Hunt, our Chancellor, in the autumn statement last week, revealed something that no one was expected that is gonna change the face of property investing moving into 2024. Over the last couple of years, it's been more and more difficult to invest in property in the traditional way. Standard buy-to-lets have been massively hit with tax changes, increases in mortgage rates, and it's just meant that cash flowing on those types of properties has become more and more difficult. Investors have been trying really, really hard to find new ways and new strategies to add value to their properties, to invest their money more wisely. And has our Chancellor Jeremy Hunt just given us a trump card to be able to do so moving into next year? In this video, we're going to talk about that little side nugget that Jeremy Hunt added to his autumn statement, which will allow under permitted development rights the conversion of a single dwelling residential home into multiple units. Stick around. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Sam here, the Property Investors Broker. Now on this video, we are gonna be talking about those changes to PD rights that were um, put into the autumn statement by Jeremy Hunt last week. But before we get into it, if you could please do me a massive favor, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. Click the notification bell to be alerted to new videos coming up on the channel. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. I'm a little way off that at the moment, so I do need your help doing so. Also, don't forget to click the like button as that helps me grow the channel channel and we've got over 200 videos for you to enjoy already. So thanks in advance and let's get back to it. Now last week we had the autumn statement which essentially is a second budget. Um, we only have one budget every year which is when the Chancellor comes into government with a big red uh, box that you know has all of these big changes that he's going to make to the economic world in the UK and effectively in times of economic crisis which we're in at the moment they uh, they now add this new autumn statement which is a budget in everything other than name. Now we'll do a separate video where I go through a few of the main points of that but there's one in particular that I want to really focus in on on this video and that is the change or the potential change to permit development rights a consideration to the change of permitted development rights that the Chancellor is going to be looking to bring in in 2024 which is going to really help a lot of property investors. Now this is to do with as I said permitted development rights for those of you that are the uninitiated permitted development rights are a way of basically fast tracking planning or avoiding getting planning permission. There are various permitted development rights already in place some of the most famous of which are the ability to convert a C3 family home into a C4 small HMO outside Article 4 areas, or the more recent, which is converting commercial property into residential property. With those types of things, there are a few others. You don't need to go through the full planning application or to do that, as long as you're hitting a, a few bullet points, a few check boxes, then this will be fast tracked. And there's a 56 day turnaround to get permitted development in place. From my side of things, on the finance side with Grand Union Finance, it's really helped us because we've got a lot of clients that want to raise finance on development projects. And if they can get permitted development, then we can prove that we are going to be getting the permitted development. That is not going to hinder our ability to get finance as well. So there are lots of benefits to permitted development. But this new change to permitted development rights is actually pretty revolutionary because it's something that has never been done before. We have had permitted development rights in the past which have allowed residential properties to be expanded so we can do extensions under permitted development rights under building regulations. I did that on my first ever flip. I used permitted development rights to build a extension on a bungalow and that's been pretty much the norm. This is a big change because instead of expanding a property, we can actually now get permitted development rights to turn a one residential unit into multiple residential units. To be precise, one family home into two flats. There is also a potential extra little kind of loophole that I've discovered off the back of this, which I'll discuss in a moment, but let's quickly talk about this change first and foremost. So if this new permitted development right comes into place, what it means is if you own a full C3 home at the moment and you're renting that property out and you're not really getting the cash flow that you want, it could actually be worthwhile you converting that into two flats where you get, may very well get two rents that are going to be more than the sum of the rent that you're currently getting and it's not going to cost you that much to make that conversion. It's a really good way of increasing your cash flow to an asset that you already own. In addition, it then can become a really good strategy in certain areas to purchase C3 family homes and convert them into two flats straight off the bat as a development project. Through my initial research, I think this is gonna work best in areas where the value of the house is at or above the national average. Low value homes, you know, your small terraced properties up in the north potentially, this may not work quite as well. You're just not gonna see the rental income back, the yields back, 
um, to make these sort of changes worthwhile. But certainly in London and the Southeast and other areas that are high yielding that sort of match where the national averages are, like in, in certain areas of the West and East Midlands, this sort of strategy could work really, really well. So it's a massive, massive change that I think is gonna help a lot of property investors. Now I did say earlier on that I think I found another little sort of strategy that might help, a double whammy, if you will, when it comes to these permitted development rights. Now I came up with this because um, there is something similar that's already happening in the commercial side. As I mentioned earlier on, at the moment, you can get permitted development rights to convert commercial property into residential. There is also permitted development rights in place to allow you to build or create res two residential dwellings over any commercial dwelling. Now there's a little trick that you can use to further increase this whereby you actually also can get permitted development rights to cut a commercial retail unit in two. So if you were to say purchase a, a commercial unit which was retail on the ground floor and then maybe offices above, you would potentially be able to go, okay, I could convert those two above into two residential units. Well, actually, there's permitted development rights to split the retail. So if you did that first, then you would actually be able to create four units above. And a lot of people use this technique, but you've just got to make sure you do it in the right way. Now, let's take that on to the permitted development rights that were announced by Jeremy Hunt, where you can convert a house into two flats. That stipulates that you can't increase the space whilst you're doing that. However, there is, as I mentioned before, permitted development rights already in place to allow you to increase the space uh, of a residential property within building regulations, i.e. you can expand and build an extension. It's, you know, you can't go over a certain percentage of the current square footage and you can't go out beyond two meters from the existing building. Well, there's nothing stopping you going through the process of getting the permitted development rights to do that and doing that first, and then after that, going and getting permitted development rights to then split that property into two. You can then increase the downstairs uh, space and have a bigger flat downstairs and then convert the upstairs into a separate entity. This would certainly increase the value of the property uh, in addition to that split. It remains to be seen whether there's gonna be any restrictions on being able to do that, but the fact that you can do that on the mixed use, as I mentioned before, suggests to me that as long as you're doing it in the right order, this could also be an extra little double whammy strategy that property investors can take advantage of going into 2024. Now, if you're thinking of getting into property or you're already in property and you're changing strategy and you're not really sure how you're gonna finance some of these things, well, I've got some good news for you. As many of you already know, I am the owner and director of Grand Union Finance, and we are a specialist mortgage brokerage that helps property investors and developers. We know all about your strategies, and we know all about the different finance products that are available to you guys in order to accomplish those strategies. Now, if you do want to get in touch with us and discuss anything to do with mortgages, bridging finance, development finance, or commercial finance, there is a link in the description for you to get in contact, and one of our brokers will be in touch to help you. As I mentioned already, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I am trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, YouTube is about to recommend you two more videos of mine that you may also want to check out. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.